And welcome back, Math Masters. So we had a nice little break there. Let's get back to our um, lesson. Remember our objective today. We're trying to learn about expanded form, standard form, all that good stuff. So um, let's continue on. So let's make, guess what? We're going to make, oh, Mr. Leggett. I hope that we are going to make a place value chart. Yes, Math Mutt, we are. You know, Mr. Leggett, if I could eat place value charts, I would. Yeah? Maybe we can make you a licorice place value chart. Would you like that? I would like that immensely, yes. Okay. Thank you, Math Mutt. You're welcome. He's such a help. All right. So, where were we before we were interrupted by Math Mutt? Oh, yes, we were making a place value chart, and this one's going to be a little different from some of the ones we made. So we're going to write a five, whoops, that was the wrong one. Uh-oh. Mr. Leggett, what are you doing? What are you doing? We want problem one. We're going to write a four-digit number, an expanded form. It'll be a great expense. Yes, expanded form. Certainly. You know it's expanded form. You know your place values, I always say. Well, I don't always say that. It'd be pretty boring if I always said that. So let's make a different kind of place value chart. Look, it's a rectangle. Yes, it is. Thank you, little Jimmy. All righty, so we're going to make four columns. One column, two column, three column, and four. Ding, 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 ding. Four columns. I sound like that vampire. All right, so let's write the number 1,702. Remember, and is a dirty word in math, unless it's used with fractions or decimals. So let's go with 1,702. All right, so there's our number. Where's the comma go? The comma goes one, two, three. Right there. So we have 1,702. What does this represent in standard form? Why, it represents 1,000. Don't you agree? Seven hundredths, zero tens. I'm not going to put anything there. Nothing. And two ones. So, one thousand seven hundredths and two ones. So, what if we were to do this? What if I were to say, hmm, What if I were to say, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do expanded form. So I would say, okay, let's give it a try. I would go 1,000 plus 700 plus two. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, damas caballeros, is what we call expanded form. And of course it equals 1,702. Isn't that amazing? I think so. So um, let's continue on, and uh, next up, problem two, is write a five-digit number in word form and expanded form. So I'm going to underline word form because that's something new. What in the world could word form be? And expanded form. So let's go ahead and tackle this one. And as you might have guessed, we're going to make, what is it, Math Mutt? A place value chart. Yes. But this time we're going to have five columns. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm going to make a really long rectangle. A rectangular rectangle. That makes no sense. All right, so five columns. One column, two column, three column, and four and five column. That's how I usually do it. I go one, two, three, four and five column. All right, so our number that we're going to be dealing with today is a big number. It is mighty big. There's two hundred thousands. There's seven ten thousands. There's zero thousands. There's eight hundredths. Mr. Leggett, you forgot something. I need to do one more. Wait. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, I'm fine. 27085. Yeah. Well, Mr. Lee, you know, end of the day, did the math homework helpers. Thank you, uh, Zoe, for showing up. Um, a, little, a little tired. 
So let's go ahead and write what these represent. What about the comma, Mr. Leggett? Oh yes, the comma. One, two, three. There you go. All right, so we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. No, you know, because we don't even need a label anymore because we're so good at that. So this stands for 20,000. This stands for 7,000. You with me? Zero in the hundreds column, 80 in the tens columns, right? Eight tens is 80, and five ones. Look what we have. 20 thousands, seven ten. oh, excuse me, uh, two ten thousands, seven thousands, zero hundreds, eight tens, five ones, or 20,000, 7,000, 80, and five. Let's make this expanded form. Oh no. Let's do, yeah, let's do expanded form first. So we have 20,000 plus, look, we just followed like a map. Plus 7,000, whoops, no comma there, plus 80. You with me? Plus five. Well, what in the world does that equal? Well, it equals 27,000. And here's where you might get confused. We gotta remember the zero, because this is 85. If we put an eight there, it'd be 800. So 0, 8, 5. And that is this number, 27,085, not 27,085, 27,085 in expanded form. Well, now let's take a look at word form. Well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. All right, here we go. Word form. Word form, think about it. What is it gonna be? Well, I might think that it would consist of words. And if you thought that, like I did, you're absolutely right. So, we would write 20, Are you with me? I'm not frozen. 20. Seven. Thousand. Comma, just like that. See, there's 27,085. Put a little hyphen in there when we talk about these types of numbers. 27 and 85. So there we have it. That is word form, just like you thought it would be. Or maybe you didn't think it was exactly like that, but hey, close enough. Let's continue on. And this is problem three. It says transcribe a number in word form to standard and expanded form. Whew. All right. So we're going to do this in standard and expanded form. Let's make that... Mm, place value chart, and this one is going to have six spaces. One space, two space, three space, four space, five and six spaces. And our number is two, seven, zero, our digits, eight, five, oh, well, look, we just added a zero on that other one. Huh, go figure. Column, one, two, three goes right here. So what do these numbers, are these digits, represent? Well, the two in the hundred thousands column represents... You got it, 200 thousands. The seven in the 10 thousands columns, what's seven times 10? 70, so this is 70 thousands, zero thousands. How many hundreds? Eight. How many tens? Five, 10 fives is 50, and zero ones. Oh, we don't write the zero there. So now I'm ready to do expanded form, right? I'm gonna use this like my map here. So we're going to say 200,000, and you're writing this down with me, right? Following along, plus 70,000. Whoops. Plus 800, plus 50. What does that equal? Why, it equals 27,850. And we write that in standard form. 20, 270,000, excuse me, 850. Now that's expanded form and... A standard form. Expand it, standard. Expand it, standard. Expand it, standard. I forgot to write the answer over here, but that's okay because we got the answer right there. Ta-da! Let's keep on moving. 
Alrighty, convert a number in expanded form. So from expanded form to word and standard form. So we're going to take this number and guess what? We're going to make a place value chart. Not again. Again. And it's going to be six columns of fun. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And this number is 700, 8,000, and five. Oh, I didn't mean to say and. I didn't say that. 708,573. And what we're going to do is going to put a comma in. One, two, three. Comma! And there it is. So now, what we're doing is we're going to convert it from expanded form to word and standard form. So the first thing we have to do is figure out standard form. How many hundred thousands? Seven. Zero ten thousands. How many thousands? Eight. How many hundreds? Five. How many tens? Seven. What's seven times ten? Seventy. How many ones? Three. So now we've got this in expanded form, but we're going to write this in word form and then standard form. Remember, word form has words. So I have to write 708,573. The way I do this, 700... Eight thousand. Wow! Right along with me. If I'm going too fast, you can always hit pause. So we have seven hundred eight thousand, comma five hundred seventy-three. And this is a very important skill to know. If you ever have to write out a check, sometimes you have to write this out in word form. So seven hundred eight thousand five hundred seventy-three. Now let's write this in standard form. We would say 708,000 comma, this is my thousands group, 573. And there we have it. What a lesson. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one. And I'm going to, if I was there, I would, uh, we could do a fantastic because you did such a great, fantastic job. You can go, ch -ch 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 -ch, fantastic. Such a fantastic time that it's time to take a little break, stretch your legs out. Stretch your back and get ready for the problem set.